Navy making aviation history, landing a version of the F-35 Lightning on the USS Nimitz off the coast of San Diego last week. The Joint Strike Fighter represents the military's future in the air, including a version for the Marine Corps that can perform vertical takeoffs and landings. The F-35 is in its testing phase. For now, the proven workhorse is still the F-A-18. And so now we begin a week-long series about this plane and its home on the West Coast, the 3rd Marine Aircraft Wing at Marine Corps Air Station Miramar. We're always striving for that perfect pass. From the pilots in the air... You can even think of it as like a 3D puzzle. ...to their guides in the control tower. And the crews on the ground. There are many specialties at Marine Corps Air Station Miramar but only one core. We're Marines first, pilot is a job title. Pick up, move to consolidation! And regardless of one's title, all Marines are trained in basic infantry, a connection that is paramount at this air base. Our ultimate goal is to make sure that the, uh, the young men and, and women of the uh, United States Armed Forces who are on the ground in places like Afghanistan and Iraq, uh, places around the world where they may be fighting for uh, not only uh, our our liberty, but the liberty of other people uh, that those those people have protected. The primary weapon employed toward that goal since the mid 1980s has been the F A 18 Hornet. The F stands for fighter, as in air to air combat. The A for assault, as in its ability to deliver powerful ordnance against ground targets. Basically, a supersonic nightmare for an enemy that requires a highly skilled and coordinated effort to unleash. All of our simulations are, are based on worst case scenario. Um, the threat is always as good as it can be, uh, and that's what we, we train against. Miramar's F-18 pilots are divided into two camps. The Combat Ready Marine Attack Squadron 323, also known as the Death Rattlers and Marine Fighter Attack Training Squadron 101. We train newly graduated flight students out of flight school uh, here for their initial introduction to the F-18 operation. It is an intense year of training involving high-tech avionics and weaponry in a fighter bomber that costs upwards of fifty million dollars, including specialized training aircraft like this one with dual controls for a student pilot and instructor. How many do you have like this? Uh, we only have probably 10 to 15 at any one time, so a very, this is a very limited asset. This asset is what drives the syllabus because it's such a high requirement for them. And only the best, some 45 to 60 pilots each year are brought through the program here. It is a privileged position. Kind of the realization that I was sitting in a uh, fighter attack aircraft which was just kind of a, a catharsis for me. And we have got an interesting week ahead. Tomorrow night we'll look at the challenges faced by the student fighter pilots and the seemingly divergent qualities they need to succeed.